Hey, how's everybody doing out there? It's Jeff with Covet the Camper. Today I've got a couple of tips on loading your truck camper, a couple of little convenience things, and um, how I actually load my Elkhorn 11J, which is a 12 foot truck camper, into a uh, Ford F350 Dually. All right, so the first little tip is uh, with these little pieces of plywood that I lay out in the bed of the truck for the camper to sit on. Uh, on one of these boards, I've actually done it to the ones that are mounted underneath the uh, little stabilizer jacks there. But um, what I do is I stack two pieces of three quarter inch plywood, which gives me about an inch and a half clearance. And then I take another piece and uh, just with a Sharpie, just draw a line. And um, that way, when you go to raise your camper, you can put that there and you know exactly how high that camper needs to be before you can back under it. it just makes things go a lot quicker, takes all the guesswork out of it. So uh, lift my camper up and get it uh, just right at that line or maybe just a, a hair above and uh, start backing the truck in. All right, so another thing I do is when I take the tailgate off, I always remove my license plate. So if you uh, live in an area, a state where you don't, or if you don't have a separate plate for your camper, uh, out here in California, uh, you don't need a separate plate. Um, just use the one off your vehicle and um, make sure that you take it off your vehicle, uh, take it off your truck before you start backing in. And if you are using spacer boards to uh, you know, get your camper a little bit higher off the bed, um, I recommend when you, when you lay them out in the back of the truck, I recommend putting them out past this lip just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch. You don't want them back down in there because your 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 bed supports underneath uh, are here and then you know about every two feet or so going back if you put it here you're going to end up bending your bed bring it up there and you're on the uh, strongest part of the uh, supports so you can um, you know go underneath and measure it out or um, you know you can usually see where the bolts are um, I've got my, my bed mat, but you can see where the bolts are and that's where you want to have your, your uh, pieces of wood. Also, if you've got steps, like I've got my glow step from Torque Lift, um, before you lift, start lifting the camper, go ahead and uh, you know, fold the step up and secure that with a little retaining cable. Uh, so if you have to lower it or you know, uh, after you've gotten it raised up a little bit, if you do have to lower it back down, you're not going to bend your step. So. Now, this part isn't absolutely necessary, but I like to take my shore power and uh, I'll plug it in. I've got my 30 amp plug on the side of my house. Uh, if you're camping somewhere and you've got power, you know, just it's better to have it plugged into shore power instead of, uh, you know, running off your battery without, uh, you know, being able to replenish it. So get that thing plugged in and now we can go ahead and start raising it. I also just do a quick walk around to make sure that the slide's in and secure. Uh, make sure that uh, everything's out of the way. If I, you know, lay my, my uh, tie downs out on the ground, make sure that they're out of the way. And uh, I'll raise it up a little bit and then get my jack stands uh, out from underneath and get the other pieces of plywood uh, laid in the bed. And I'll raise it just enough to uh, lift it off of the jack stands and then I'll go ahead and get those out of the way. Uh, while it's still fairly low. I'll make sure I'm you know, straight in there and then uh, this is about when I uh, plug in the power cord into the bed so my plug is right down there I'll go ahead and get that plugged in and then uh, finish backing in the rest of the way
Okay, once we're square on the truck, we can go ahead and unplug the uh, power cord and get our tie downs on. All right, so the camper is secure on the truck. I can go ahead and uh, put my license plate on the back here. Somebody asked what I do with my license plate since I have the, uh, you know, the back patio. Uh, the license plate used to be right there, but if we're gonna, you know, put anything on this back patio uh, while we're going down the road, it it would block that uh, license plate. So I relocated it down here with a couple of lights, um, and it just, uh, you know, just mounts in place just like normal. And uh, mounting those two uh, license plate lights was really easy. There's actually wiring for the tail lights uh, in this side compartment right back there. And uh, that's where I tapped in. All right, so then all you need to do is just, uh, of course, check your, um, you know, tail lights, your blinkers, and your running lights to make sure everything's working. Turn on your headlights and make sure that, uh, you know, your, your tail lights work and uh, the running lights all the way around. So uh, I usually do that before I finish backing in all the way, just in case it's the plug in the bed that needs to be adjusted. I don't uh, you know, have to you know, pull the, uh, the, the truck back out from under the camper to get to that plug. So anyway, I've got one other tip that I'm gonna do, actually in a separate video, I'm gonna um, show that in the next video. It's uh, just uh, kind of a little, simpler way a little less expensive way to lock your fast gun tie downs from torque lift uh, it's an alternative to their uh, fast gun uh, locks so it's just uh, a thing that i did it's about uh, a quarter of the cost and uh, still pretty pretty secure and obviously having a lock on there is going to be a deterrent from uh, you know any thieves wanting to take the uh, the tie downs uh, it'll also work on your uh, you know the the glow step. Uh, you can use these locks on the glow step as well. So stay tuned for that video and uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. If you uh, wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and uh, give me a like. It really helps out the channel. And uh, if you have any questions on this video, uh, shoot me a you know, question or comment uh, in the comment section below. We'll see you on the next one. Later.